Hello Aquarius, this is your reading for April 2019. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming. We're going to do a Celtic cross for you guys with the cards face down. So let's see what we've got. The energy that's around you guys is right there. All right. I was challenging you for this month. Let's see what's underlying here. The recent past is there. Best possible outcome in this situation is there. What's coming in for my Aquarius friends here? Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, I don't know why I want to flip that over, so I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> um, that is how you're seeing this situation currently. Let's see. What's influencing you guys here? The month. Your hopes or fears there. And then let's get an overall outcome here. Right there. So, my Aquarius, let's see what's going on with you guys right now. Uh, the Seven of Swords. Hmm. I'm feeling that you guys are really kind of antsy around something, okay? Um, there's something that you feel like you need to do that's in your best interest, okay? And I'm feeling like this is leaving somebody behind that probably has been there for you guys. Um, you know, but there's something that has happened here that I feel like you're you're leaving somebody behind that... that you feel like has been there for you but as of late there's been something very hurtful I feel that you guys have learned about um, a situation and feeling like you really need to move on and your challenge is to do just that I feel with that eight of wands there um, you guys are in need of a change is what I'm getting okay you're in need of a change okay whether it's actually physically moving or whether it's like communicating um you know relating to different people or relaying messages you know that you need to okay but there's definitely something i feel like you guys are wanting to um to do okay so but how you're feeling about this situation is definitely i'm feeling like there's a lot that you have to say you're eager to say it and there's nothing that's going to hold you back from saying it okay with that knight of swords energy let's see what was going on in the recent past here um you have the emperor which is uh aries energy very stubborn okay i feel like um you know maybe maybe there is someone that you feel like is very stubborn um that is unwavering they don't like to give in okay this is a very strong-willed person maybe you guys have felt held back held down um, by this individual kind of repressed and feeling a need to you know just fly and spread your wings and be separate away from something here okay now what's underlying here is the king of wands again aries leo um, maybe taurus is here as well sagittarius energy um but i'm definitely getting that there's somebody that you almost feel like is, is very strong this individual um you know i don't know if this person is like mean but there's something about this person i feel like that's um to say the very least intimidating okay but i'm getting that you guys feel like you need to move away from this energy um in order to be able to grow and be able to move on okay you're trying to gain your strength away from uh this individual i feel okay spreading your wings now the best possible outcome here i feel let's see what we've got i can hardly pick these cards up is the king of swords okay this is for you not to let your emotions take over you okay this is what you want to do 
um, you want to remove yourself, I feel, emotionally from the situation and basically look at it from um, what you need to do. Okay. Most definitely. I feel that you guys are uh, kind of hurt in this situation. You're kind of hurt. Okay. And I feel like, you know, what, what you want to do is like basically be a match for this individual. Okay. Um, this is what the best possible outcome is in this situation. What you would like to see happen. You would like for this person to respect um, your stance. How you are. To respect you. Okay. What's coming in for you guys is the Three of Swords in reverse. Okay. Healing. No longer being like truly affected, destroyed by by this person, by what has been done here, okay? I feel you guys definitely getting over a situation where you suffered a lot of disappointment, a lot of heartache, okay? What's influencing you guys here is the Knight of Pentacles. Slowly but surely, you, you are finding your way. Okay, you know that it's going to take some time, but I'm getting that you guys are really willing to invest the time and effort um, needed to basically heal yourselves, okay, to get over this heartache, to be able to say exactly what it is that you want to say so you can move on and move forward, okay. Your hopes or fears is a four of wands. Hmm. There's a situation here, and you know, it's a couple of different scenarios, is what I'm seeing with this card. This is definitely a hope for a stable, happy relationship, okay? Um, and this is either with in an intimate setting, or this is with somebody in your family, somebody that you're related to, okay? There, there's been um, a situation where you guys have really felt kind of repressed, okay? And I feel you coming out of that. I feel like I feel you expressing yourself. I feel like you're removing yourself from situations where you felt held back, situation where you know somebody had more control over you than what you wanted, okay? I feel. A lot of you guys are looking for relationships. You're moving on, okay? Your hope is to have a stable relationship. For some of you, your hope is to move out of someone's home here and move into your own home. Maybe even have a roommate, okay? Maybe even have a relationship or a same-sex relationship here. Because some of your parents probably do not approve of a, con a connection here. Okay? Releasing yourself from that. You just want to be happy and do your own thing. And the overall outcome here is a Six of Swords. Definitely moving on. Doing what's best for you doing what's best for you okay I see you guys moving on moving forward getting over the heartbreak um, you know but you're moving on begrudgingly the thing is you know you know what's best for you may not necessarily you know align with what somebody else wants okay so we have maybe another Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius like yourself. Um, we have Aries here. We have uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn maybe. Um, we have Leo, Sagittarius energy, quite possibly here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is very strong here. Um, this person probably also has some air in their chart. But yeah, 
All right, guys. So that is what I have for you guys, and um, I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.